The Montreal Canadiens should have been rolling into Game 3 against the Vegas Golden Knights with a boatload of swagger after scoring a massive win in Game 2 on Wednesday night. They potted three goals from three different players while getting a standout showing in net from Carey Price to bounce back from their opening game loss. However, going into Friday, things got a bit more complicated as head coach Dominique Ducharme was unable to be on the bench following a positive test for COVID-19. Luke Richardson and Alex Burrows took over in his stead, and the rest of the tests came back negative for both the Canadians and Golden Knights. While Ducharme was out, the lineup remained the same as it was in Game 2, with both John Merrill and Jeff Petrie set to play. The opening minutes of the game were tentative to say the least, as Vegas controlled the puck but did little with it, while Montreal was struggling to put any kind of pressure together at all. Vegas was given the first real chance of the game to break the scoreless draw, as Jesperi Kotkaniemi was whistled for a hook against Alec Martinez. The penalty kill was all about price however, as the franchise cornerstone slammed the door shut on every chance the Knights created in tight. The even-up call came soon enough for Montreal as Keegan Colossar was sent to the box for interference behind the Habs net. Despite the power play looking much better in recent outings, the first attempt on Friday night wasn't able to generate much, even with Nick Suzuki flinging no-look passes across the zone to Cole Caulfield. In the end, the Habs managed just one shot from Philip Danault as the advantage expired. The only Hab who seemed to be fully engaged was Price as he denied Nicholas Roy on a partial breakaway, then held the line as the Golden Knights continued to swarm all around the Montreal crease. With an already large shot advantage, the Knights went back to the power play as Joel Armia was called for boarding. Again the Canadians' penalty kill stymied the opposition, keeping the game scoreless as the two sides headed into the first intermission. Period 2 didn't start much better for the Habs, as Shea Weber led Suzuki with a pass right into a massive hit from Braden McNabb, on which Weber then took a penalty for retaliating. Even without their leading penalty killer, Montreal kept Vegas off the board with relative ease and killed off the early minor penalty. Unfortunately it was the Canadians' own errors that allowed Vegas to open the scoring, and it came from the usually sure-handed Eric Stahl. The veteran center collected a puck behind the net, and absent-mindedly flipped it out in front of Price, right onto Roy's stick. The Vegas forward roofed his shot to give the visitors a much-deserved lead. That lead lasted not even 40 seconds as the Fenham duo of Suzuki and Caulfield found the back of the net.